Liverpool's 1981-82 league campaign, where Bob Paisley's informed side were up against title rivals Ipswich Town. Bobby Robson has shuffled his pack. Mick Mills switches to left back with Steve McCall moving into midfield. Up front, Alan Brazil is dropped in a tactical manoeuvre with Tommy Parkin coming in to give numerical strength in the middle of the field. And it's a similar plan to that which brought Ipswich a draw here last season. No team worries though for Liverpool with Mark Lawrenson in his preferred position in the centre of the defence. Ronnie Whelan is now installed on the left-hand side of midfield following the departure of Ray Kennedy. And Ian Rush's contribution is emphasised by his 18 goals in 23 appearances. And since Graham Souness has been given the captaincy, Liverpool have produced an irresistible run of eight wins and a draw. The emphasis switches then to precious first division points rather than a League Cup final place as the country's two most consistent clubs join battle for the second of their three meetings in eight days. And today's referee is Alan Saunders from Newcastle. Mariner. Didn't get many touches in the game on Tuesday night. Hansen. George Burley's header. Here's Alan Kennedy. Aiming for McDermott, and was it the hand? It looked like it, and that's the way the referee saw it. The right arm raised by Terry McDermott. And a characteristic burst from him again, but clearly handball. Kennedy's head up. Game at the moment being played at Ipswich's pace rather than Liverpool's. Here's Walk. Steggles looking for Parkin, over hitting the pass. Whelan. Souness looking for McDermott who stayed onside this time and tucks it away. The referee had a look at the linesman, Terry McDermott, who has his own special way of celebrating goals. Souness looking up, and how about that for a telling pass? McDermott had lost McCall on that occasion and Liverpool lead after a quarter of an hour. Terry McDermott giving the cop plenty to cheer about. Here's McCall. Parking. Gates competing well for Ipswich. One senses that their sense of competition is under some scrutiny here. Ipswich have been criticised from within the game for the lack of application on the really big occasion. And it was Whelan looking to feed off, and then Rush! Well, he can do nothing wrong. There was hardly a chance, really, as Whelan carried the fight forward for Liverpool and aimed to play the 1-2 with Dalgleish. It didn't quite come off. But Ian Rush sensed an opening and blazed away, it's past Cooper. Parkin. Now McCall. It's Ipswich's turn to keep possession. McCall, one for Burley. Morrison only as far as Muran, and it hit the post. The key moments in these meetings between the two sides are certainly going Liverpool's way. Mark Lawrenson guilty of an ineffective clearance here. Oh, 
Paul Muran took it down with one touch, struck it with the second. It beat Grobola, but came out of the post. Hansen able to quell the threat to Eric Gates in that situation. Douglas. It might break for him. It does. <laughs> On the stroke of half time. Forward from Kennedy, Douglas was sensing what was on here, ran a little kindly for him off Steggles, but he needed no second chance. It's 3-0 on the very stroke of the first 45 minutes. And this surely has did the Ipswich challenge here. Lawrenson. Well, it's a recurring nightmare, it seems, for Ipswich Town. Terry McDermott giving Liverpool the lead here, just as he did at Portman Road on Tuesday night. And in quick succession, Ian Rush adding a second. And with that switch perhaps having a little bit more of the ball as the half wore on, they have perhaps been killed off here by a goal right on half time by Kenny Dalgleish. At half time, then, it's Liverpool 3, Ipswich 0. And the goal by Kenny Dalgleish just on half time, the 27th that Liverpool have scored in nine and a half games since the turn of the year. In that time, they've conceded just two. Rush. celebrates his 23rd birthday tomorrow. Looks like having a win bonus to go with it. Damn it. It's Lee who's there for Liverpool. Here's Kennedy. Sunes. Here's McCall. The lineup is offside, but that looked very close indeed. A pass from Gates. costly for Ipswich. Here's Lee. Muren stuck out a foot. But couldn't stop the ball going behind. McDermott's corner. It's Kennedy who came in at the back for Liverpool. Muren is having a chance to change the direction. Parkin. Here's Parkin. Mariner. Did well to get the shot in. involved as the move built up on the Ipswich right. Mariner's turn 
beat Phil Neal. Now Tyson certainly which need a little bit of magic perhaps from their Dutchman. And it came from Mariner back for Tyson. But perhaps it's just responding to what Bobby Robson has said to them at half time, which I wouldn't imagine would have been too complimentary. And Tyson bursting through but shooting wide. Dalglish. And Cooper. And he almost bobbled away from the goalkeeper and over the line. Well, he wasn't a difficult one to save. But Cooper recovered. Mariner. McCall. Helped out here by Muren. Well, it wasn't aimed in Mariner's direction, and it was almost an own goal by Alan Kennedy. Muren's pass was mishit. In fact, Mariner may have got a foot to it himself. Dalglish, McDermott striking back, Cooper down for the save. Whelan, was Mills with the mistake, and it's Dalglish with a chance, uh, Lee rather, with a chance to make it four, and it comes out off the near post, after Mick Mills had given the ball away for Ipswich, Ian Rush took it up, Sammy Lee up in support. Looked to beat the goalkeeper on the near post, which he did, but couldn't squeeze it inside the post. Hardly an enviable task for Kevin O'Callaghan to come on in a situation like this. Neil got a bad bounce there as he played the pass forward. Walk cuts it out as it was aimed for McDermott. Here's Lee. Dalglish. No foul by Walk, but Lee kept going. And it's Whelan. Ronnie Whelan arriving at the right time. A moment earlier, the crowd were calling for a penalty as Doug Leash went down, or at least a free kick. Lee wasn't distracted, in came the cross. Whelan got his head to it in front of Parkin. And Ronnie Whelan scores at Anfield for the fourth successive game here. And Bobby Robson in the middle of the picture there. The expression tells the story. Kevin O'Callaghan, meanwhile, has come on. And Gates is clear here. Has got ahead of Lawrenson and can pull one back, except that Lawrenson fashions the most marvellous rescuing tackle. And Gates saw the goal opening up for him. He was leading the race all right, and Lawrenson stretched a leg and got it to safety. It's an indication that throughout this Liverpool team, the performances at the moment are of the very highest level. Scoring goals, and they're putting up the shutters at the other end. Mariner. 
Dates chases again, he's behind Neil this time, and Grobelaar thwarts him. For three occasions in this second half, Eric Dates has got in behind Liverpool. And that was his best effort. Grobelaar's fingertip saved it. Lee. Oh! It seemed to be arrowing in.